Hey everybody, I am John Barker and in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to add graphics like these to your A10 Mini and A10 Mini Pro production with H2R Graphics and the Stream Deck. So first up, you're going to want to grab H2R Graphics from our website, heretorecord.com forward slash graphics, and you'll find a link below. And you can go to the download section at the bottom of the page and you can download it for Mac OS, Windows and with Linux coming soon, I hope. Once you've installed and launched it, you can open up a Chroma window by clicking on the Chroma window here. And all you have to do is click and drag that over to your connected ATEM Mini. I have my ATEM Mini connected via HDMI to this laptop and it's doing an extended display here. And I just drag this window and I'm gonna go full screen with it with Command F on a Mac or Control F on a Windows machine. Now that full screen green window is filling my program source. We'll get rid of that green in a second and add some graphics instead. The next thing you want to do is head over to the ATEM software control. And in here, you can set up the upstream key settings, which will allow you to add graphics to your production. I'm gonna make sure my camera is on program on the ATEM Mini so you can see what happens here. Back in the ATEM software control, I'll make sure that camera two, in this case, this is my computer source, is selected as the fill source and I can put this on air, either in the ATEM software control or with the key button on the ATEM Mini. I'll put it on air now and you'll see nothing really changes. And that's because I've set up some of the settings here in the ATEM software control. But if I was to change some of the settings around a bit more, like take away all of these settings here, you'll see things are looking a bit green. You'll wanna spend some time and get these settings just right to work for your production. An easy way to get the settings just right is to take it off air and go into the chroma sample. If I turn that on, I can see the green screen background is back again in the preview. This little square lets me drag things around and find the perfect green spot to sample from. I'll just put it up here where I know there's no graphics and I'm happy with that. I'm gonna turn my upstream key back on again. Again, nothing changes, but that's okay. We want it that way. I'll head back over to H2R graphics and in the lower thirds tab, I can turn on one of the lower thirds. Hit show, and on my program, you can see the lower third pops up. From there, you can go through all of H2R graphics settings, like the ticker, maybe a timer, and just use the graphics as you wish. Here I can see the time of day popping on the stream, and it works nicely. If you wanna go super pro with it, you can use the Stream Deck along with Companion to talk to H2R graphics. I made a video on the Companion with the ATEM Mini Pro, and this will all work pretty much the same. So let's just set it up for H2R graphics. Back over on my computer, I can head to the Companion GUI. In order to get it to work with Companion, I can add the H2R graphics as a generic OSC instance. I'll just type in OSC and I can see generic OSC here. Let's add that. I'll give it a label like H2R graphics. The target IP is 127.0.0.1, your local machine, and target port is 8181 by default. Apply changes to make that work. Then over in the buttons tab, I have some buttons already set up here, but let's create a new one for the purposes of this video. I'll set up a text button, which will be, uh, I wanna show the logo, let's call it logo. And then in key down actions, I can go for the H2R graphics at the bottom here, and I'll choose send string. Now we have documented all of the OSC stuff over on our website, heretorecord.com forward slash graphics forward slash docs. And you can find uh, all the OSC stuff here, OSC control. I can see all the commands for that. So in this case, I wanted to show the logo and I'll choose the path of H2R graphics forward slash logo. I'll just copy that and change the path to be that. And I know that the value should be show. Copy that and put it in there. And now over on the buttons themselves, I can see the logo button has popped up here. And if I press that, it talks to H2R graphics and it brings that logo on the air. Some final thoughts about this whole setup is that H2R graphics is free. So grab it, give it a go, see if you like it, and let me know if there's any feedback on the app itself. Another thing to make sure is to test everything before you go live with it. I like to test all my buttons to make sure they all work before I go recording or anything like that. That way there's no surprises when you press a button on air and the graphics don't show up or the wrong one shows up. It's best to make sure everything works before you start recording or streaming. 
And one last tip, if you go over to the settings, you can change the OSC port to whatever port number you want. In this case, you may have two things that are conflicting with each other, and you can change that port here in H2R Graphics. You want to make sure though, that you go back to Companion, into the config, and change the target port as well, just so that things keep talking to each other. So I hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions about graphics or about the companion or any of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Watch more videos on the A10 Mini Pro and the A10 Mini in this playlist.